this is Captain Chaudhary once again. Today I am going to talk about the liberation of moons latitude and longitude. Liberation in latitude and longitude. Now, whenever you look at moon on a full moon night, or whenever you might have seen a correct true picture of the moon anywhere, you would find that there are shadows, there are pictures, there is a dark, there are these dark patches in the moon. Now, from very old time, there have been many stories, uh, the cultures in different countries. Like in Europe, they say it is the man in the moon or a child in the moon. In Indonesia and China, they call it a rabbit in the moon. In India, the poets call it beauty spot. So now, moon probably cannot be imagined, you know, fully white. It has got patches. At the same time, another interesting thing to note here is we are not, why we are not able to picture the other side of the moon. Why whenever a picture is taken, you see the similar moon facing you. The simple reason to understand this is, let us assume, here is a person, balloon seller. He's got a giant balloon, which is, say, white in 50% and the rest of the 50% is of different color. If he revolves the balloon around him, right, he will see the same side of the balloon, isn't it? He will see the same side of the balloon. If I call this as, say, picture 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, he is looking at the same side of the balloon. If I draw picture 1, it is like this. Picture 2 is like this. Picture 3 is like this. 4 is this way. 5 is this way. And 6 is this way. If you look at the balloons over here, you will find the balloon is spinning on its axis. And time taken for one revolution is same as time taken for one spin. So in case of moon, we can say moon spins on its axis and time taken to take one spin is equal to time taken for one revolution. That means revolution period is same as rotational period. So, obviously you shouldn't be able to see the other side of the moon and also you shouldn't be able to see more than 50% of the moon. But no, in case of moon, as far as moon's meridians are concerned or moon's longitudes are concerned, we are able to see a little more than 50% of the moon right, on either side. And if you talk about the polar regions of moon, sometimes we are able to see little extra of the parallels little extra of the latitudes of the moon and that is what is called liberation in latitude. So if you see little extra on the longitude, it is called liberation in longitude. If you see little extra on the latitudes of the moon, that means the polar regions on north and south pole, it is called liberation in latitude. What is the reason for that? Let us first talk about liberation in longitude. You must have sometimes been to a fun and fair area where you have a merry-go-round where the vehicle is spinning on own axis at the same time so it is revolving. Now what happens if it attains a regular speed or a constant speed, you will find that the vehicle although it is free to move on axis, it becomes fixed. So a person who is on the inner side remains there and a person who is on the outer side remains there. The equilibrium is attained at steady speed. Now what happens is, suddenly if the speed is reduced, you will find that the vehicle will turn little extra or little less. And that happens because of the change of the speed. So this little extra spinning or under spinning of the vehicle happens because of variation in linear speed, variation in the orbital speed. Now what happens in case of moon? Moon, when it is closest to Earth, it is called perigee. When it is furthest, it is called apogee. Because of perigee and apogee, what happens is the linear speed of the moon in its orbit increases or decreases. 
So in case of moon which spins on its axis and also orbits around the earth, the movement can be considered similar to this. So at the time of perigee, when the moon is moving fastest and at the time of apogee, when the moon is moving slowest, because of this change of linear speed, what happens is there is little extra spin or underspin of the moon. So we are able to see little extra of longitude on one side or the other side. This is called liberation in longitude. Now to understand the liberation in latitude, let's once again go back to the diagram of celestial sphere. As you know in celestial sphere, the earth is in the center of the sphere. Now let us assume that this is equinoctial. So this is the earth with axis of rotation like this. And here is the ecliptic. And let's say this is moon's orbit. Of revolution. Now equinoctial, ecliptic, moon's orbit 23 and a half degrees, 5 and a quarter degrees. Now we must understand one thing that moon as it goes around the orbit it is not perpendicular. Its axis of rotation is not perpendicular to its orbit. It is inclined by about one and a half degrees. Now earth being here sometimes you will find that you are seeing the lower part of the moon rather than upper part and at some other time when the moon is here you are able to see a little extra of the north polar region of the moon and this viewing of little extra of the latitude or the polar region sometime or the other is called liberation of latitude 